<laughs> Hello, everybody. Time for another episode of Alan Wake. Here we go. Oh, another cop car. How did that get up here? That's not good. I failed to see what me wearing a tweed jacket has to do with any of this. Leave me and my jacket out of this. Uh oh. I hear trouble coming. Oh crap. Did it see me? I don't think it's on me. Okay, now how am I gonna get... Uh oh. <laughs> That's even worse. Well, good for me, I guess. But bad for him. Captain, we're going down! Well, the birds actually helped me for once. And they killed themselves in the process, probably, so... It's a win-win. Okay. Where do I go now? Running low on fuel. Is there any coffee around here? We go for a nice cup of coffee. Maybe there's some coffee up here. Smoldering wreckage. That's all I see. Nothing special. Yes! Just what I needed. Thank you. Uh, this is Jane. Mulligan Thornton, come in. Over. Uh, uh, Thornton here. Uh, Jane, we got both Wheeler and Rose in custody. <laughs> they didn't put up a fight or anything. Why, they were... Hey, what are you... Come on! Sit down and give me that. Jane, Mulligan here. Over. Uh, go ahead, Mulligan. Over. Uh, we got Wheeler and Rose here. Wheeler's drunk or hopped up on something. Speaking of which, that fed had a pretty distinctive whiff of load of scotch about him, if you know what I mean. Over. Uh, I don't have anything on that, Deputy Mulligan. Over. Well, whatever. Anyway, Rose is just being plain weird here. You better get Doc in to take a look at both of them. Over. Gotcha. You better get them here quickly. The, uh, fed's gonna want to interview the Wheeler, over. <laughs> oh, yeah, I bet he does. Looks like they have a lot in common. All we gonna out. That's uh, a big 10 4. Over. They say over a lot. I don't think it's necessary. I could see the lights of the radio station in the distance. Ah, there we go. Jackpot. Well, now at least I know somewhat where I need to go. Radio station. Oh, how did I miss this before? I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. 
Yeah, something tells me that that's just not going to work out. Call me crazy. Just have a bad feeling. Oh, what the heck is this now? Unnatural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without light. Well, that's not good. Darkness is taking over inanimate objects? I see coffee. Mmm. Tasty. There was no power to the searchlight. Yeah, it figures. We're good to go. Oh, and I broke the searchlight? Well, at least I got through the gate. A little bit too quiet around here. This is right about the time somebody jumps out and throws an axe at my face. Oh. Okay, it's just another one of those crazy gate things. Okay, what the hell was that? Flashlight. Okay, maybe it was just nothing. Just a cheap scare. Oh, it was you! Screaming at me. I don't think that was necessary. Guess I just got a little bit too close to the gate. Okay, moving on. It took me a moment to recognize the flashbang grenades. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. Team one, come in. Over. Hey, seriously, what's going on with the cop cars one, everywhere? All mangled. I think. On, guys. Talk to me. Come in, please. Over. I think all your teams are dead. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think they're going to respond. Oh, okay. Back off. Grenade out. <laughs> I was a little late on that. Oh, no, no, no. 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 Stop. Get back. <laughs> that was a good throw. That was a direct hit. They had the jump on me pretty good there. Okay. I see the light. Hallelujah. And here's another call. You're on KBFFM with Pat Main. It's Milt Peabody, Pat. What's on your mind, Milt? Well, I live near the trailer park, Pat, and there's a big ruckus going on over there. Well, that's just up the road from me, too. Uh, what's going on, do you know? I don't know, but there's a bunch of police cars there, lots of sirens, a helicopter buzzing around, and I think I heard some gunshots. Gunshots? Yes, sir, like from a pistol. So can you find out what's going on? Because it's just next door and they're popping off guns there. They're still shooting? No, it was maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. It sounds serious, Pat. I'm telling you, it don't sound like no party. Well, I'm certainly going to give the station a call, Milt. Okay. You'll hear it here as soon as I hear from them. Okay, thanks. Yeah, they were shooting at me, by the way. 
All right, that's going to do it for this episode. We'll continue our trek to the radio station next time. Thanks for joining me, everybody. See you later.